Now I'm going to show you how to design a different size small gear or bigger gear from an existing gear drawing. This is important because if you want to create another different size gear which is compatible with the existing gear to mesh with the teeth, you need the same teeth size. So to do that, um, let's start with our calculation. So for example, this is the calculation of our existing gear that has 23 teeth and the module is 10 and pressure angle is 20. We need to create a different size gear. Uh, in this case, we're going to create a small size gear which is compatible to, to the existing gear. So for example, now my teeth size, uh, number of teeth is 17. So my calculation changes, the PCD is 170. And ACD and DCD I calculated, but we don't need this term since we'll be just editing the drawing. We just need the PCD, which is 170, and we'll use the tooth thickness 15.7 because as the module is remains same as 10. So let's start. To start our modification, first I need to get rid of the boss extrusion to get the sketch. So what I'm gonna do and delete the boss extrusion and go to the front plane. Um, and start sketching so again uh, to change the gear size I just need only one teeth so what I'm gonna do is that get rid of all the teeth we have and just delete select and delete yes to all delete so all I will be needing is that um, the teeth, I also don't even need um, this, all I need is the teeth because this length will be changing. So I have only one teeth here and now I need to draw these. PCD of the gear. So I'm going back to our origin and I draw a circle and now this time I my PCD is 170. So um, so my this would be um, 85 so I just put 85 except so that is my new PCD so all I have to do is that transfer that gear tip to the circle um, to do that what I'm gonna do is that create a straight line to the center of my gear tip so I have this now I need a point where this gear would be shifted so I create um, if you remembered our width was 15.7 so if you take half um, it will be um, 7.85 so I have to change this to 7.85 and this is uh, the location I have to move so what I'm doing is that uh, trim the entities here and that will create the point where I want to transfer so I can get rid, rid of this line um, so I'll, I'll do the select my teeth right click uh, sketch tools and then move now I want to move my teeth I'm gonna select the point where the first uh, PCD went through so that I'm selecting that and putting in my new point here so it is moved and then now I don't need um, this circle anymore um, so all I have to do is that um, get I can get rid of this line too all I have to do is that select my um, gear tip and go to tools what I'm gonna do is that circular pattern uh, sketch tools circular pattern 
Now remember, we had 17 teeth this time, so what I'm going to do is that create exactly 17 teeth and say yes. So my teeth are created. So now what I'm going to do is that connect two points with, uh, because this is so small, I'm going to connect them with a straight line um, and then uh, make it a um, circular pattern. What you can do is that you can also create another circle from here, which would be dedendum circle up to this point. And then uh, you have to get rid of these two uh, because it may not be tangent with the new dedendum circle. And then you have to redraw this two because this has no dimension. So you have to create these two. Um, as shown in previous video and then um, it will if you want this in one this connection as a part of circle um, then you can do that but if, since this is a very small uh, we're just doing a straight line so now all I have to do is that um, um, circular pattern I have 17 teeth, so I'm gonna go 17 and then it become an area. So now it will let me to do my um, gear. So I'll extrude and 35 is fine. So, so now this is my new gear. So we started with a gear which is um, 23 teeth now we have made same size teeth but a smaller gear which is which has only um, 17 teeth now in the next video we're gonna make these two teeth compatible and we'll do motion study thank you